I'm sure a lot of you guys watching opened up day one on your advent calendar. And now I'm gonna be honest, I haven't yet because I've been saving it for today's video. And the best part is I'm not just gonna be opening up day one, I'm gonna be opening up 123 advent calendar doors today. That's right everybody, we have WWE, Horror, DC, NFL, Pokemon, and Five Nights at Freddy's. And we're gonna be checking out every single one of these today, so let's get started. And now I guess the first two that we're gonna be starting with here are the countdown calendars. They're technically for WrestleMania and Halloween, but we're still gonna be opening them today. And I guess if you wanted to wait 14 or 13 days before Christmas, you could still do them. Alrighty, everybody, here we go. And ooh, it's actually a slide off top. That is interesting. And I've also got the double camera today so we can really get a close up shot of these things. And that is what the calendar is looking like. So yeah, like I said, we've got 13 days in here. We're gonna be cracking open every single one of them. So let's just start with day one and see what it is. All right, the first one here is, oh shoot, I'm already blanking. I literally cannot think of her name. I haven't seen this horror movie before. But either way, we will get on to day two here and find out who's gonna be inside. I hope it's somebody I know. We have, oh, this one is from, I believe, The Lost Boys? Or maybe I'm wrong about that too. What is wrong with me today? I've got a second one. One, and I don't know his name either. Look, can we get some Chuckies or maybe the Nun? Those would be great. Let's see who's third here though. Ah, ha, ha, we've got Pennywise. You know, the dancing clown from It. This is somebody that I can definitely name you. And I love how it's a new mold, or at least it's a little bit different from the original one. It's also pretty cool because it's the original one, not the newer one that's been releasing over the last couple years. And now everybody, it is time to get on to day number four and find out who we've got. Ah! It's Georgie! This is great. He's got his little boat. He also has the base to go along with him, probably because he would have fallen over without it. And now I've got to say, if you've picked up this countdown calendar, it has been some really great figures so far. And now, everybody, let's get into day number five, and we're going to find out who this is. Oh, nice! I believe this would be Annabelle, and I hope I'm correct on that one. I probably should have brushed up on my horror characters before I started opening these. But have no fear, day six is here, so we are almost halfway through, and let's see who we've got here. Ah, Beetlejuice. This is a great one, especially because he's got the guide hat on, his hands are to the sides, and just in general, it is pretty nice. Now let me see if he stands, yeah, not too shabby. Day number seven, day number seven, day number seven, we have another version of Pennywise, but this is the newer one, and it looks like he might have something in his hand. Ah, perfect, it's a tiny little red balloon. I mean, come on guys, you can't beat that. And now, everybody, we are getting into day number eight. Is it going to be another one from It? No, it is not. We actually have one from The Exorcist. This here, I believe, would be Regan, where she's got barf all over her shirt. It's not great, but it's definitely a horror character. But anyway, we're getting into day number nine here. And this one, finally, we got one that I can actually name pretty easily, The Nun. Not that I couldn't name the other ones, but at first, I was actually thinking she was The Nun. Somebody help me out with those ones. But either way, that is a great character to have. And now we've got four more days here to crack open for this calendar. Alrighty, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Oh, Jason Voorhees. This is a neat one. I'm liking the butcher's knife in his hand as well as the hockey mask. That is just a clean character in general. And I gotta say, there is a pretty nice variety inside of here. So if you're just like a horror fan in general, I feel like you would really enjoy this. And now who do we have for day number 11? Oh! Oh, we got Freddy Krueger, and this seems to be a bit of an updated version. And I guess when it comes to the Pocket Pops, they probably have to re-sculpt them to make them a little less detailed, because otherwise they'd probably break inside of the box. But yeah, that is a neat one. Okay, now we are on to number 12, and it seems like the door was kind of pressed in a little bit, so maybe there's somebody inside who really wants to break out of here. We have, oh, it's, um, oh, 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 it's another one for Beetlejuice. And I know you guys are gonna hate me again because I can't think of her name, but there she is, looking pretty great. And then of course, everybody, we have the 13th day, and I'm guessing, ooh, I don't know who it's gonna be. I guess we'll find out together, though. Let's see who is the last one inside of this calendar. We have, 
Oh, <laughs> is it another one from the Lost Boys? I'm blanking again. Anyways, you guys can help me out in the comments. Oh, hold on everybody. It says on the bottom here a bunch of the different licenses inside. It was the Lost Boys and the Curse of La Llorona. I did have it right. I don't know. I just wasn't very confident about it. Alrighty, everyone. Now, next up, we're going to be doing the WWE calendar. And I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to name everybody inside, but I'll try my best. Because here's the thing, I know a good amount of them, and also, I am really liking how it looks like the ring here. And anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that there is only 14 of them inside, so they should be more, you know, like, well-known ones, and not just, like, random people I would never know. And I know that a lot of people that watch my videos are wrestling fans, so I'm gonna name all of them no matter what. I'm not gonna, like, opt out on this one. I'm just gonna see how I do. And let's start with day number one here and find out who is inside. We've got... Oh! <laughs> You've already lost me on this one. Um... I almost said Nikki, but that's my one name for this one. And let's move on to the next one and let's hope it's The Rock. <laughs> And anyways, who do we have here? It is... Um... Go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Um... Uh, oh, you're losing me again, everybody. See, this is what happens when I try to open up every single advent calendar every year. You get stuff like this, and I'm gonna say his name is... King! Yeah, you lost me. Anyways, let's just get on to day number three here. And who do we have in this one? Ah ha ha! We've got Rey Mysterio! Somebody who I definitely know and can put down there for everybody. Also, I'm liking that suit. It's pretty cool. And I believe I actually have that pop somewhere in the collection. But now, let's get on to day number four here. Who is... Boo, 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 boo. Aha! Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, that is another one that I do know. Now, it's time, everybody, to get into day number five. And we're getting pretty along here. And I've named two out of the four. And this one, I'm going to be able to name it because it is, okay, Hulk Hogan. This is another really great one. I'm liking how he's ripping his shirt. It just looks amazing in general. And anyways, let's get on to six here and let's find out who we've got. Come on, another one I can name. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. It is uh, Bray, 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 Bray Wyatt? I don't know, it's hard to tell. It, no, actually, it's probably not hard to tell. A lot of wrestling fans are screaming at the screen right now. And anyways, I'm gonna move on before too many people start to hate me for this. But anywho, we are on to day number seven here and this one is going to be oh ho ho stone cold steve austin now this one i can name no problem at all and now everybody we are on to day number eight who do we have here who do we have here this is going to be aha the rock now that is no problem at all. They also gave him his classic look really nice. And now everybody, we are getting on to number nine. And this feels kind of interesting. I'm feeling like maybe a hood. Oh, is it gonna be The Undertaker, perhaps? It, it is, whoa! I guessed it just by the feel on that one. I mean, you've gotta give me some props for that. So count that one as like about five other characters that I didn't name earlier. And anyways, let's see here. We got number 10, and this one's going to be, ooh, I'm gonna try and feel again. Feels female, perhaps. And this one is not actually. Is that Bret Hart? I think it is, I think it is. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting on to 11 here. Ooh, I'm knocking over Macho Man. I gotta pull this back a bit so I can get him out of here. Macho, let me fix you real quick. But Mr. Man, I apologize. And now, who do we have here? Okay, I am just never gonna get this one. Um, da, da, da. let's go on to 12. Who is going to be? Let's find out here, everybody. 12, 12, 12, 12. I'm trying to think of any other wrestlers that we haven't got yet that I would like to see. And we ended up getting, oh, okay, I know this one. He just recently got a pop of him sitting on the throne. Is this Triple H? I think it is. I mean, if it isn't Triple H, it definitely looks like him. And now let's get on to day number 13. How do I do that? Oh, wait, oh! Interesting! Are you guys seeing this here? Look at this, there's only one door in the middle and there's 13 and 14 there. Okay, I'm gonna have to take these out from the side then. Okay, I gotta be careful because I actually wanna keep this for later. And let's see, yeah, that's so weird. So they printed it on the 13 day calendar when it was supposed to be, the how odd. If any of you guys happen to get the wrestling calendar as well, please let me know if that happened to yours because I'm super curious. And now let's get into day number 13 here, which is, uh, 
Is this, now this, is this Nikki? Um, yeah, I'm never gonna think of that one. I'm just, I apologize to whoever that is. I'm hoping no wrestlers end up watching this video. And the last one that we've got here is, I believe, is this just the, is that just the ringside announcer? I believe, I don't know if he has a name. I apologize if he does, but it's not the worst thing I've probably said today out of all these wrestlers' names. Well, everybody, I tried my best. Let's get on to the holiday calendars. And I think the first one that we should start with here is the DC superheroes. A lot of the times when I open these up, it moves around and it knocks all of the characters over. So if they fall, bear with me here. But we're gonna go through these and see who we get, starting with day number one. And this should be a calendar that I can name every single person. All righty. Oh, interesting. So they're inside of these little pieces of plastic and they don't actually have like a mystery thing. And the first one we got here is a Santa Superman. And I gotta say, they are looking pretty great. Like, take a look at that, starting with number one. Okay, so it is definitely gonna be moving around a lot here. So Superman, try to stand if possible. And let's see here if we can get into number Number two. Oh, wow. This is great. It's like a Christmas blue beetle. Look at the colors on that thing. And now everybody on to day number three. Let's see if we're gonna get another unique character in here. Oh, we got a Santa Wonder Woman. Or maybe more of like a Mrs. Claus. I don't know, but whatever it is, it is looking really great. And so far they do all stand. It's just, I gotta shake this thing around a lot. But anyway, let's get on to day number four and find out who is inside of here. All Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Ooh, it's not even just a normal version of Joker, it's metallic. Now that is really neat and something that I have never seen before. Let me see who we've got here. Ah, Batman. Right next to Joker, actually a great pair. And it seems like this one also might be metallic. Let me take it out and I'll get a bit of a better look at it. Ah, maybe not metallic, but he's pretty cool actually, because I'm noticing you can see his little pointy ears underneath his cap. Let me see if that stands. Eh, it's not bad. Ooh, we got another Wonder Woman. This one here might be a little bit different though. We'll have to check. Oh, okay, this makes sense. It's actually a diamond edition version where she's pretty much completely covered in glitter. And now everybody, we are on to row number two. Everything's just falling over here, but we're gonna have to live with it. We've got aha, Harley Quinn. This one here is actually a character that I've never seen in a normal size. Like, take a look at that. She's got her mallet there, as well as like jingle bells all over her. And we've only got one double on a character, not even like a double for the figure, just like, you know, Wonder Woman twice. Which is pretty great if you're getting this one because we're on to like week number two here, kind of, if you're opening it up every day. And now let's get into day number eight where we actually have, ah, the Flash. This is a great one. And I'm also noticing that there's a base inside, probably because he's a bit precarious with the way he runs. Let me see if I could put that on. Oh my gosh, it's funny how small the peg is. But yeah, that is the Flash. We're just gonna put him in the middle and we'll keep going. It's a bit of a domino effect over here with the characters. And now the next one here is actually another Flash, but this is... Oh, this is cool. Check it out, guys. He's kind of burnt on the top in the back as well. Maybe because he's so fast, you know, he's kind of like burning himself as he runs because he is a cookie. I'm guessing that's on purpose, but either way, a really, really cool addition to the character. And now, ooh, Jack Frost Joker. This is an amazing one that I do actually have as a normal size character. I mean, look at that thing. The icicle candy cane, or the icicle cane. I mean, I'm too festive right now. The icicle cane looks amazing though. And now we are getting on to day number 11, which is going to be, ah, another gingerbread, but this one is Superman. And now with this one here, I'm noticing that he isn't burnt, so it's probably on purpose. And there we go, everybody, looking really great because he's flying. And now we have the last one for the second row here. This is, is that Shazam inside? Oh, that's cool. Look at this. He is completely flying, and I am really enjoying how high up he is. It's fun how they're making them flying. I don't believe they did very many of those last year, so maybe it's a good way to kind of like swap it up and also make it interesting at the same time if you do buy it every single year. And it looks like in here, if I can get him, we've got the penguin as a snowman. Honestly, guys, some really fun stuff inside of here. And take a look at that. If he stands, we'll test it out. Boom, there we go. And now we are getting on to day number 14. And this one, okay, we've got another burnt one here, people. This is a really funny one. If you guys take a look, it is Batman, but he's got a little bit of char on him. Oh, no, Dom. 
dominoes. Oh, is he not gonna stand at all? Wait, hold on a second, hold on, hold on. There we go, there, that's better. And now we are getting on to day number 15. Oh, and I'm just noticing now, one of the ones I did earlier was supposed to have a base. I'll figure that out later. Okay, now this, it's, it's okay. At least they're different characters, but I am noticing now they're doing a burnt and normal version of Batman. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna get a burnt and normal version of The Flash, but let me show you guys here so you can see them next to each other. They're similar, but not the same. And actually, you know what, now that I think about it, speaking of The Flash, I'm guessing it was supposed to go with this one here. Yes, it was supposed to go with the gingerbread one from earlier, and I'm guessing that'll stand just a little bit better, probably. Okay, now who do we have for day number 16 here? It is, oh, it's Aquaman. And not just any Aquaman, the gingerbread edition. How great is that? Okay, who do we have here for day number 17? Actually, I can kind of see it from the side here, and I think it's a snowman. Okay, it's another version of the penguin. This one here, though, is Diamond Edition. That is nice. I'm actually really enjoying the diamond on this one. It kind of makes the snow look a little bit more snowy. That might not make sense to some of you guys, but whenever I'm outside and it has just, like, freshly snowed, it kind of looks like there's glitter on top. And anyway, everybody, we are now down to the last one on this row, and it seems like it's Shazam again, possibly the same suit. I've just got to pull him out of here to see what it could be. Okay, so it's a Diamond Edition version of him. There we go. And now I totally understand that we're not going to get a different character mold every time, because 24 of them would be kind of nuts on Funko's part. But now, who do we have here? Okay, it's Superman, Gingerbread, and it looks like this one is the burnt version, too. There we go. It took me a bit of time to get him out of there, but I got it. And that again is really great. Also, if you look on the back side there, the cape has some burn marks as well. Okay, now I've really got to start moving stuff out of the way for the bottom row, and let's find out who's here. Oh, we got another Joker. And it looks to be just the normal version of the metallic one that we got earlier, which still is a great figure. Yeah, I'm liking both. Now, who do we have coming up next in day 21? So we really are getting close to Christmas, and this one here is, okay, this is funny. This is just the normal version of the gingerbread one. And I didn't tell you which character. It's the Flash, of course. And let me see if I can get that base out of there. And it's kind of stuck in the bottom. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go, everybody. And now, let me put him down to show you. Boom, 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 boom. There he is! Okay, so we are really creeping up to Christmas on this one with day number 22. And oh, they gave us a good one. Check it out. So this is, I guess, the same mold as the Batman one that we got earlier, where he's got the nightcap on and candle, but he's in a super festive colorway. I'm loving it. How cool it is. I just so neat. I realized I said the McDonald's slogan there, then tried to change it last second. And anyways, who do we have here? This is, okay, I think we've got a Wonder Woman here, and it looks to be the gingerbread version. I don't know if it's a burnt one. No, because we didn't get one earlier, I don't think. So it's just kind of like a normal version of her. If I could get it, yeah, there we go. So yeah, there's no burning going on on this one. It looks like whoever made these cookies did them properly. But if you guys want to check it out, hold on. We're going to have to push some of these guys back so I can show you guys what she looks like. But there it is. Pretty snazzy. And now, everybody, on this last day here, I'm seeing something that kind of looks like ice, perhaps. Ooh, this is interesting. And also, I gotta say, day 24 is always my favorite out of the advent calendars because they go above and beyond with it. So like Christmas Eve, you're getting a really crazy figure. And check that out. It's an ice version of Jack Frost Joker. All right, now, everybody, we are getting into another one where I don't know if I can name every single one. We have the NFL. This here was actually exclusive to Fanatics.com. I was lucky enough to find this one, like, not that long ago. Maybe about, like, a week or two. It came out recently. And it tells me every single one of the teams on the back. And what I'm going to do, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell with every single tiny little Funko Pop, is I'm just going to kind of match the colors and try my best. Now, if you guys want to take a look, here's all of the teams at the top. And I don't think it's specifically like any football player. It might be though. I'm not going to get that detailed with it. So let's just crack this thing open and find out what we've got going on here. Ooh. Okay. So it's got the logos. I should be able to do this. And it looks like day number one should be the Raven. So let's just get into this here and find out if it is actually going to be that, or maybe it's kind of random throughout. And also something that I did notice is that there is only 24 different doors here. So we're not actually going to get every single team. And I wonder which ones they left off. But anyway, let's find out out here what this one is. We have 
have, yes, it is the Ravens, and it's number one. Oh, it says Murray on the back. Cardinals. Oh. Look, I don't know, everybody. They're birds, and let's get on to, okay, now we're getting into the Ravens, and it seems like we have, let's check this one out here. Oh, a green bag this time. That's pretty cool, and this is, yes, another Really great one. Ah ha ha. Check that out, everybody. And now they are pretty much going to be the exact same, I believe. Maybe depending on what position they play, they might switch the football around. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to get that detailed, but we'll find out together as we go. And it seems like they're going to stand pretty well. And also, I got to say, I'm really enjoying the base to this and how it looks like the actual field. It's a nice touch on Funko's part. And let's find out who day number three is, which is actually going to be the Bills. And we've got Josh Allen. I know I said I wasn't going to name him, but they're a local team team, so I kind of know the people that play on it. And let's find out here. This is, I didn't even check the door on this one. We have the Bengals, though, and this is really great. We've got Joe Burrow. Oh, ho, ho. I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The names on the back of the jerseys are really helping. Because if I didn't have that, I guess it would kind of just be like a generic person. But anyways, let's find out here. What do we have for day number five? I don't even know the team on this one. It is the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, let's see, though. Who do we have? Da, 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 da. They went with uh, Prescott. I don't know why Scott came to mind, but anyways, let's keep going here. Day number six here, where I believe this would be the Mustangs. I mean, it definitely looks like a Mustang on the side. It is the Broncos. Uh, if you guys don't know, my friend Nate is a big fan of football, and I know he is going to flame me for this part of the video. Anyways, let's get on to day number seven here, though, and find out who's inside. Alrighty, we've got another red bag, and I guess I should probably just wait until I've got them opened up and then I can exactly name them because we've got the Browns here and this is just such an easy thing now that I've got it open. Okay, now we are getting into Green Bay and let's find out what we've got here. Da -da 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 we have, um, this is Rogers, Aaron? Possibly. Look, I don't know. But anyways, let's get on to the Raiders here and find out who this one is going to be. Okay, what do we got? 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 We have Adams. Okay, cool. Yep. Am I knowing a first name here? No. So I guess we're apologizing to pretty much all wrestlers and football players today. But anyways, let's keep going here and find out which this one is going to be. We have, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? This is the Jaguars, and it is Lawrence. Um, ooh, uh, I almost said Scotty. It is not. Well, actually, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't have any clue, actually. But anyways, let's keep going here, and we're going to get on to the day number 11. And it looks like here we've got the Colts, and let's find out who this is. Taylor Swift? Look, I understand that's not how it works, but now let's get into date number 12. So we're two weeks into this technically, or just about two weeks anyways. We're on row two, just about finished row two. And this one here is, oh, Herbert. Oh, he was on Funko's YouTube channel not too long ago talking about stuff. If this is who I think it is. And now here's the thing. If there's a takeaway from this advent calendar, it's the fact that sure, I can't name them, but they are all standing up pretty great. The only problem is going to be once I get to the bottom row, I'm going to have to move them all out of the way. And who do we have here? You know, I'm going to be honest, when it comes to the advent calendars, don't do it like I'm doing it. Just pick the ones that you really enjoy for the holiday season. Because when you start to do this, you look like a fool. But anyway, everybody, we are getting on to day number 14. So this would officially be two weeks into the calendar. And this one is actually going to be the Vikings. And we have Jefferson. Uh, John? Je John? Ma Michael? Steven, here's the thing. I'm at just about 2.6 million subscribers. How, what, are, what are the chances that any NFL player is subscribed to the channel? One of them's got to collect pops. And anyways, who do we have here? We've got the Patriots, and they went with McCourty. Well, anyways, it looks like they're going for current players. And now, let's see here who we've got in the New York Giants, if I were to guess. Alrighty, it seems like the last name on this one is Barkley. And I know it's not Charles. It's definitely not Charles. Well, actually, you know what? They could have the same name. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just put them on the table and keep going. All right, everybody, day number 17. We're almost done, row three. And this team, I didn't even check it, actually. Oh, it's the Steelers. And we have here J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt. I'm pretty sure I got his name right. And J.J. Watt, if you watch, I apologize if I didn't. Well, actually, I'd be apologizing to a totally different guy. Anyway, San Francisco 49ers is up next. And who do we have here? You know what? I'm saying these like I'm supposed to know them as soon as I see the last name. I don't. But this is here McCaffrey. Oh, I've heard the last name. 
Michael? I'm <laughs> probably totally wrong on that. And anyways, we are now getting on to the bottom row, which kind of sucks. It means they're all gonna have to move. And so I think what we're gonna do here is just kind of press them out of the way and see what happens here. And however many are standing in the end, it's a win in my books. Plus also, when you're on the field anyways, you're gonna be knocking around people, so it's gonna work out. And anyways, we have the Seahawks here, and we got Metcalf. You know what, it's awful, because I'm knowing the last names. Is it D... Why does DJ Metcalf come to mind? Am I thinking of somebody completely different? Anyways, let's keep going here. What do we have though? Um, This is, didn't even check the team on it. We've got Los Angeles and we've got Cup. Hoop, Cup, I don't know, it's K-U-P-P. -P. Now for day number 21, everybody, we have, check it out and we've got Evans. I've just got to stop reading the last names on the back. It would be so much easier for everybody here. And let's see here, we're on to day number 22 and I'm noticing that they're ending with Kansas City. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna be getting a Patrick Balms. But then again, I have no clue. And this one here is the Tennessee Titans. Alrighty, I guess we will put him right there. And now let's see, who do we have for day number 23? Ah ha ha ha. It is, check this out. Actually, I don't know if I know this helmet. It is Hertz. The Eagles. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I should have known with the wings. Well, anyways, everybody, the e well, he's down already. And now let's find out what Kansas City one are they going to be doing? It's got to be Patrick Mahomes. If it's not Patrick Mahomes, it just wouldn't make sense. Well, it could be Kelsey. I guess it could be Travis Kelsey. But let's find out here. No, it is definitely Patrick Mahomes. And that is, well, pretty much all of the football players for today. Let's get out of here. Now, everyone, the last two advent calendars that we have here are all characters that I can name 100%. And so let's get into this one here, which is the brand new Pokemon advent calendar. And I'm not going to show you the back yet because it does kind of spoil the entire thing. I don't know why, but for some reason when it comes to the Pokemon calendars, they show every single one of them on the back. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I won't show you. And now everyone, here we go. Okay, they're right there. I'm going to just kind of like open this up carefully. Up, up, up. You didn't see anything. And we'll set this thing up and just get going with it. Okay, so day number one. Who do we have here? And now I wonder, are we going to start and end with a Pikachu? No, we're actually starting with a Caterpie. A pretty nice one, especially because I'm guessing a Caterpie would kind of be this size compared to a normal Funko Pop. And so now everybody let's get on to day number two here which is ah Eevee and this seems to be a standing version of Eevee I think so I think last year maybe we got a sitting one either way we've definitely had one this size before now everybody day number three day number three day number three we've got oh shout out to real breaking Nate we've got Psyduck and now I guess we will put him right next to the other two. And something that I'm enjoying is that it seems like all of these have bases so far, so they should not fall over. Check this out, we've got Charmander. And now I'm trying to remember if we got these guys last year. I feel like some of these have to be repeats, right? Like we can't have all new ones. Like there must've been some of these ones. And anyways, now next up here, we have Leafy on. And I gotta say, this is looking really great and super detailed for how small it is. And now everybody, we are getting on to the end of the first row here, which is going to have Oh, Dragonite. Gosh, I am loving this one. Like, Dragonite is just such a fun character, and to make him, like, slightly bigger than the rest of them was a pretty nice touch. Alrighty, so let's get on to day number seven here, which is actually going to be Ponita. Did I say that kind of funny? Ponita. Ponita? I don't know. But anywho, it will be going down here next to Dragonite. Now let's get on to day number eight, which is... Ah! Piplup! How great is this? Look at how cute Piplup is. I mean, come on, that face, you can't beat it. Oh, don't worry, Piplup, I'll fix you up a bit. And now let's get on to day number nine here with Wahahaha, we've got Horsey. Oh, and this is interesting. They didn't just go with a base to hold them on the bottom like Caterpie was. It's actually like a larger one to make it look like they're floating. Okay, now let's get into number 10 here, which is Squirtle. I thought we got Squirtle, but no, we got Charmander earlier. And it looks like Squirtle is a pretty nice one. Now I'm wondering, Who's gonna be the number 24 for this one? Maybe it'll be Pikachu, I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, we have, ah, Lucario. Yeah, this one is great, especially because he's in kind of like that fighting pose, seriously nice. And now again, very similar to the NFL one, we are having all of them stand, of course, until we get to the bottom row. Oh, right! 
I forgot about this, guys. We've got our first Umbreon ever. So, that, I mean, there is one that's releasing, of course, for a normal size. And I believe the Chalice Collectibles flocked one just released recently. But this here, I mean, come on, looks amazing. And again, it is a little bit taller than the rest of them, which is really cool. I think it's because of the ears, probably. But now we've got, is this going to be, is it Arcanine or Growlithe? Kind of hard to tell. I'm guessing it's Arcanine, though. No, you know what, guys? It is definitely Arcanine. There's a slightly bigger mane to it than a normal Growlithe would have. And now let's get on to day number 14 here, which is, oh, Oshawott. I don't know why, but I always like to announce the character before you guys even get to see it. But that is a really great one, especially with the little tail on the back. And it's looking like next up here, we've got Pidgeotto, who is, ooh, also flying. Yeah, this is just great. It's also a little bit higher than the horse he was to make it look like they're actually floating. Now, who do we have coming up here for day number 16? Oh, it is Espeon, already falling out of the spot, but actually makes it much easier for me. Yeah, take a look at that, pretty nice. Nice. And now who do we have for 17? This is, okay, we've got the, let me see if I can get him out of here, Bulbasaur. Alrighty, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Bulbasaur. Yeah, this is great. Also, like one of the only like sideways standing Pokemon, I think, for today. Well, no, I guess the Eeveelutions would be too. Most of them, though, for some reason, I've noticed, the ones that they pick to do stand on two feet. I don't know if that's on purpose to make it easier for the boxes, but whatever it is, it is something that I have noticed. And now, who do we got here? Ah, it's Alakazam. And actually, now that we're talking about this, I'm going to keep advocating for an Abra Pop. I think that would be an amazing one. But now take a look there. Again, a little bit taller. And now, everybody, we're getting into the bottom row, where of course we're gonna have to push some of them out of the way to get into it, and this one here is actually gonna be Munchlax. Alrighty, Munchlax, you're going in the front here, and now let's get on to day number 20, who I'm looking here and I believe is actually Score Bunny. Come on, you little bunny. There we go. Score Bunny is out, and I'm liking the one foot a little bit higher than the other to almost make it look like he's about to go running. Okay, now, day number 21, and I believe I'm seeing a Pikachu coming up soon, which is exciting. Oh, and check this one out. Day number 21 is actually Lapras if I could get him out of here. Gosh, it's completely stuck. I'm guessing Lapras is, yeah, a bit bigger than the rest of them, just like a few of the others. But uh, yeah, that is super nice. Yeah, you know what, guys? We're just going to push these ones out of the way so I can get into the last few here. And it looks like we have a Pikachu. Let me see if I can grab him there. Yeah, this is just such a great one. The angry version of Pikachu and he uh, does look pretty mad. And now, I don't even know if this is a pose that we have for a normal Funko Pop. It's kind of hard to tell because he does have the large tail in the back. Maybe the Pop just doesn't have that. Or maybe it's a little bit higher up, like a little bit straighter to fit inside of that normal box. And anyways, let's get on to this one here, which is going to be, got him everybody, that is the Sylveon. And some of them are still standing after that bit of a mess there, but yeah, looking pretty great. And now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I can already see day number 24. This is an exciting one. And I feel like at this point, you know who it's gonna be be. It's Charizard. I just got to get him out of here. Check it out. If I can do it. There we go. Oh yeah, this is a great figure. Take a look at Charizard. That's amazing. And by the end of this, everybody, it looks like only two of them had fallen over. Okay, everyone, now we are on to the last advent calendar of the day. And this one here is probably one of my favorites. We've got Five Nights at Freddy's. And now I'm noticing on the back already, there are some characters inside of here that we do not have as normal size pops. And actually you might be able to see some on the front. Yeah, we've got these two here, the Bonnie and Foxy do not have a regular size figure. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think that Freddy does either. So this is gonna be really interesting to actually go through and find out exactly how many of these don't have that normal like four inch figure. And I guess we'll pop out day number one here and find out if this is gonna be one that we have. Ooh, okay, it's a Freddy here. And it looks like we've got, okay, maybe a Toy Freddy or it's just kind of like a Christmas version of Toy Freddy. I can't tell, but he's got the red on his cheeks there. And then also like a candy cane top hat. Oh, and I'm just noticing now the base looks amazing. It's also the floor from the games. That is perfect. But now let's get on to day number two here and find out who's inside. Okay, this one seems like, okay, it's a Chica, I think. And let's see if this is just a normal Chica or if it's like something different. Actually, now that I'm looking at it here, it is, oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it's a normal-ish Chica but her bib actually says ho, ho, ho. I hope you guys can see that. It might be a little small. Like, do you guys see what I'm talking about, Funko? That's a really cool touch. Alrighty, now let's get on to day number three here and find out, I knew it was gonna happen eventually, but we'll find out who's inside of here. Oh, it's a Foxy, and it looks like this one is a complete candy cane version of him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am like it. Oh, 
Wait, hold on, hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm liking that a lot though. Okay, now we're on to day number four. We're almost done row one. And this is going to be, I'm looking here, a balloon boy. Now it's kind of funny, inside of the wrapping, it's hard to tell if they're different colors, but then as soon as you take them out, you'll notice that this one here isn't blue, it's actually a green and red. Seriously, that's awesome. And now we're gonna be getting into day number five here and let's find out who it is. Okay, I'm seeing a base on this one, it's Ballora. And I'm guessing it's the one that we saw on the front. So maybe just kind of like a red version of her. No, it's just a normal ballerina Ballora. I guess that could also go with like something like, you know, the Nutcracker perhaps, because there are ballerinas in that. And it is definitely a Christmassy thing. So now let's get on to the last one from the first row, which is going to be another Foxy. And now I'm looking at it here. It's hard to tell, but I'm seeing something whole. He's like, he's holding something in his hands. Oh, that's funny. It is Foxy, but he's got a bunch of sugar cookies. Do you guys see that there? Seriously, some nice ones inside of this. And now I want to get on to day number seven here, which is... Is it Helpy? Oh my gosh! Is this Helpy? It is! Wow, wow, wow. It is Helpy with a candy cane. Oh, I did not expect like random characters like this. Well, I mean, not that Helpy's random, but you know what I mean. I was thinking of like the main four the whole time, but no, it is really cool to see somebody like him. Okay, now let's get on to day number eight here, and maybe we'll get some other ones from different games, because he would have been Pizzeria Simulator, I believe. And let's see, okay, this one here is the Christmas tree Bonnie that we saw on the outside of the box. So we've known about that one. It's not that crazy, but it is a cool color thing that I would love to see as a normal size figure eventually. And then this one here, oh, we've got a Santa Foxy. This one's cool because he also has a present in his hook hand. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. I'm liking the amount of Foxies we're getting here. But it would be nice to also get some other characters as well. Like who haven't we got yet? I guess none out of the main set, but I would love to see maybe a cupcake by himself. That would be cool. And it seems like here, ooh, whoa. We got a golden Chica. Oh, that is awesome. Also way easier than the mystery mini set. I mean, come on guys, that is so cool to get something like that inside. It's almost like, you know, the Hallmark ornaments that Funko's been doing with all of the chases, they're completely golden. And so maybe we'll get some other gold characters inside of here too. And it looks like this one here is Freddy with a present, perhaps? It is. And that's pretty neat because he does have a normal colored top hat. It's just like him going to a party. Okay, now I'm really hoping for maybe a golden Freddy inside of here. Not like a gold, well actually, a golden golden Freddy could be kind of cool. But anyways, let's get into this one here, which is Ballora. Aha, this is what I thought the other one was gonna be, but it looks like, there we go, that is the Christmas colors. Okay, now let's see what we've got for day number 13. And can't you guys see how much easier it is for me to go through an advent calendar when I know the names of everybody? I just wish I knew football. And actually, now that I think about it, wrestlers and horror icons as well would be great. And now, ooh, we've got a red and green Bon Bon, well, Bonnie, 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 you know who I'm talking about. For a second there, I forgot that Bon Bon was another character. And now let's see who is this? I'm hoping for, yeah, like I said, a cupcake by himself, but it seems like this is actually another Foxy. And is this like a different color? Okay, it's a metallic version of the one with cookies. Okay, so that's pretty neat. And now if I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of liking the colors for that one a little bit better than the original. Maybe it's just cause it's kind of shiny. But now let's get into day number 15 here and find out what this one's gonna be. And I'm thinking it is, oh, I thought it was another Foxy. It's a Freddy. Actually, is this a black light one or maybe it's red with green? Yeah, it is red with white. There we go, guys, it matches Bonnie. And I'm guessing we're probably gonna be able to get sets out of this by the time we're finished. So we've got, I guess, a couple of the ones that are red and green. Then we've got a couple of the ones like holding things. I think the only one we're missing there, well, no, I guess we would have got Chica because of the bib one. So maybe we're just looking for some more gold characters. That would be nice. This appears to be a translucent Balloon Boy. It's like a frost version of Balloon Boy. That is really interesting. And I mean, if this is what we're getting and it's only day 16, there must be some crazy stuff towards the end of it. And I wonder, whoever's over at Funko really is cooking with this one. Oh, here we go. We've got a Chica with a little cupcake in her hand. And then they are also wearing a Santa hat. Yeah, that is great. And it also has the ho, ho, ho on the bib. Just a lot going on there for Christmas. Now, everybody, we are getting on to day number 18. We're really getting to the end of this calendar and actually the end of the video in general because this is the last calendar. But let's see here. We have, I think maybe a translucent Freddy. It's kind of hard to tell. Is it like a frost version or, oh, Oh, wow. It's almost like Red Bear in a way. I mean, not exactly the same, but it is completely red. Okay, now we are getting into day number 19. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, this is, okay, there's a pop of this one that actually came out this year. It is the Elf 
Bonnie. Now that is a really nice one. Sure, we'll just keep going here though and hope for another random character because that's what I would love to see. And this here is another balloon boy. Oh, okay. So this one here is kind of like, just like a normal candy cane color. It is red and white. Okay, day number 21. We are getting to Christmas here. What are we gonna have though? Um, oh, oh. Is this a Freddy Frost bear? It is! Oh my gosh! That is cool. Okay, but now here's the thing. He doesn't have the ice pick in his hand. He's got the microphone, but I'm still gonna count it because I mean, come on. That is amazing. Look at him. And I'm guessing they are probably going off the Freddy Frost bear. They just didn't want to change the mold for one character. Let's go with that. And now we're on to day number 22. And this one here, I mean, I'm knocking them all around, but let's find out here. We've got another Chica. This almost looks like it's got like wrapping paper around her. Oh, it is. It's red with like green wrapping paper. Pretty snazzy on this one. And she does also have the ho, ho, ho bib on still too. And let's see. Okay. We're getting on to day number 23. So this would be right before Christmas Eve. So I guess it'd be the Eve of Christmas Eve. And it seems like this one here is actually, oh, okay. So it's kind of like the balloon boy and Freddy that we took a look at earlier, but this one here is Foxy kind of frozen. And now everybody, we are on to the last day and I'm wondering if we're gonna be getting a golden Freddy inside. I would love to see that kind of like the golden Chica. And it seems like we have, okay, it's a Freddy. I can't tell yet though. It is, oh, I didn't even think of that. We hadn't got the Freddy with lights yet. Okay, so there we go, everybody. That is the last one. Ooh, come on, stand, stand, stand. That is the last one of the calendar. Okay, everybody, that is all of the advent calendars for today. But before we get out of here, this is all of my favorites from every single one of them. As you guys can see, I've got a couple horror ones in the front. We've also got some Pokemon over here. Then we've got DC, and I'm really liking that Harley Quinn with the glitter, especially because this was the only version you got of her. There was no normal one. Then of course, we've got the green and red blue beetles. Some of the ones from the Five Nights at Freddy's set like that red bear as well as Helpy and the golden chica. There's definitely more that I enjoyed, but I'm just putting the ones here that kind of stood out to me right away. But then we've also got some wrestling in the back with Rey Mysterio, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and we've also got Hulk Hogan. Then over here for the football ones, we have Josh Allen as well as Patrick Mahomes. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That is all of the stuff that I have for today. And I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow.